What's up fam, it's me, Butch Logs FM LA, also known as the Skeleton of Color. I'm here to show you guys how I shoot smoke photography by myself. I hope you guys like and share the video, it took me a while to make, and I hope you all learned something. For the purpose of this video, I ended up using 12 cameras. I normally just use 5, but I really wanted to showcase on how I do everything. Right now, I'm setting up the intervalometer. This is the intervalometer, and it's the key tool to making sure that this is a success. The one that I use is a Veltrox. Alright, let's set up the intervalometer. It has a delay long an interval. Delay is when the camera is going to start taking the photos. Uh, for how long is how long you want the photos to be taken and interval well this part just make sure it's at one okay now I always set the camera up for about 10 seconds it allows me um, enough time to get in front of the camera and start the smoke grenades uh, I usually want this to be for one minute so the camera will take the photos for at least a minute that's at one. Most important is this box right here. You want to set this at infinity. What's gonna happen is that the camera is just gonna start taking a bunch of photos. I'm just finishing up my settings here. I'm gonna put the intervalometer into the camera. Now I always wrap it here just because like I feel like it's more safer. Check my settings, check my composition. Right here I got my finger on the start button. I start the intervalometer, I go in front of the cameras, I start the smoke grenades, and I begin my performance. I really didn't do a like full on routine, I kind of try to stay still as much as possible because it was for photos. I set up another camera behind my A7R3. I really want you guys to see the autofocusing system. You see those green squares that are on me? Those are focusing points. Sony cameras are just the best at what I do. It nails focus every single time. You see when it blinks, that's actually taking a photo. And those green squares is making sure that it's always on focus. Now, my settings is that I always shoot in RAW, okay? I always have it on compress. Um, my shooting setting is always gonna be at high plus. It's always gonna be on continuous autofocus. And I always make sure that it's in zone setting, which is always in the middle because that's typically where I'm always going to be. To show you some photo examples, this was taken with my Sigma 24mm art lens, my Zeiss 55mm, Sigma 30mm crop sensor lens. Now for SD cards, I suggest the Sony Tough. This thing is amazing. It reads at 300 and it writes at 299. These are just the best of the best to be honest and I suggest nothing less. As you can clearly see, I am by myself. I am in the middle of the road. When I do this, it's usually two, three o'clock in the morning. I do create as much transparency with whoever's around me just so that way they don't worry at all with the amount of smoke they see. It only takes me about two minutes to clean up and I'm out. Now, I wanna just do a quick shout out to Nola Gay. They are the only smoke grenades that I use. I've been with them for four plus years. I love these guys, and they are just the best smoke grenades ever. So, only use a Nola Gay. Now, I hope you guys learned something. If there's any questions, please leave it in the comments or DM me, and thank you.